Hello, dearly beloved. It is Rhapsody time, reality time. And for the 14th of January, our dear man of God would like to share on consciously sowing the word in you. It says in Galatians chapter 6 verse 7, Be not deceived, God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. The word of God is seed. And what do you do to a seed if you want it to produce a good harvest? You sow it in the right environment. Through meditation, you sow God's word into your hearts. If you don't sow the right seeds, weeds will grow of themselves. Your heart is God's garden and you cannot allow weeds to grow in it. Weeds are wrong thoughts that are received into the heart. If you allow them, they will destroy the crop of God's word in your life. We see how this happens in the parable that Jesus gave about the sower who went forth to sow his seeds. And you can read this in Matthew chapter 13 verse 7 and 22. Make up your mind to only allow the right seeds in your heart. Because as read in our theme verse, what you sow is what you reap. The word in your heart will produce a harvest of the word and great blessings in your life. Therefore, consciously sow the word into your heart. Set your heart for it. As you study and meditate on the scriptures, tell yourself, I walk in truth, I walk in love, I walk in Christ, I walk by the Spirit, I have the spirit of boldness, no sickness in my body, I walk in divine health, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. These are perilous times. The Bible says in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. We are in that time that was spoken about, and only those who walk in the dominion of the word, in the consciousness of their victory in and through the word, will prevail. So learn the word of God for yourself, for your life. Store it in your heart and let it come out of your mouth. For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. And this is seen in Matthew chapter 12, verse 34. Glory to God. Hallelujah. This is the time to invest your spirit with the word of God. Now you may kindly proclaim this confession after me. My heart is God's garden. And his word grows in me continually. Producing harvests of blessings. I mount God over my heart. Allowing only the word to grow and prevail. And by the word, I walk in victory, success and advancement every day in Jesus' name amen wonderful here are some beautiful scriptures for you to begin consciously sowing into your spirit from acts chapter 20 verse 32 romans chapter 10 verse 10 luke chapter 6 verse 45 and philippians chapter 4 verse 8 Praise the Lord! It is the beginning of a new and glorious year. And as you continue to endorse the word and put it to practice, all that you receive from these rhapsodies of realities, you are training yourself onto godliness and excellence. Hallelujah! While you are at it, encourage others to embark on this journey of spiritual growth with you as you share these videos and send copies of these daily devotionals to your contacts and social media platforms. If you are new here, click on the subscribe button to get refreshed with the word of life daily. And we will see you tomorrow. We trust you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying thus. O oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe 
He is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, I have eternal life. I'm born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I'm now a child of God. Hallelujah. Congratulations. You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us at tni.msia at gmail.com. That's tni.msia at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.